All right, I already did a video on this, but uh, it's kind of poor quality. I use my phone. But, uh, this is a 2007 Chevy Impala, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the troubleshooting and the repair on this video. I got the solenoid, but um, the code's PO449. EVAP emissions vent solenoid circuit control. All right, so uh, let's go out, go under the car, and get some voltage measurements. And All right, so here we are under the car. We're gonna do a couple voltage measurements. Um, without unplugging the sensor, the first one we're gonna do. Try getting you both on the screen. First one to do is the power wire, which is the pink wire on this, pink with the white stripe. You see we got 12 volts. Now we'll do the white wire. And the white wire, we got, you know, nothing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it. Now we got the connector unplugged. Now we're gonna do the white wire again. You see, we have a uh, about a half a volt, you know, 490 millivolts. So uh, that tells us that we have a uh, we have our bias voltage on the control wire. So our control wire is good, and we got power. So we have to have a faulty solenoid. That's the way you can do it without a, you know, without a scan tool and bidirectional control or anything like that. That tells you that your control wire is good. You got power to it, so the only thing it can be is your solenoid. So now we we'll go ahead and uh, get the solenoid changed out. You know, it's kind of hard film underneath here. I don't have a lift or nothing. I'm just in my driveway on the ground, but uh, I'll do what I can. All right, so. Here's a new solenoid right here. It's uh, you know, there's just one bolt that holds the bracket on. It has a hose, and you also have to buy this uh, this adapter harness right here too. It's a different part number, so it comes with a little adapter harness that you put on first, and then this will plug into your factory harness. All right, now here's your your hose that goes up to here. get a pick. Ugh. Let me get that off. Now there's one 10 millimeter bolt. I'm using a ratchet. Ah, you're not gonna be able to see, but.
Got the old one out. Now we go, I'm gonna get this new one put in. No one put in. Plug in our sensor. Once I get a little clip here. Clip it up out of the way. Alright, now, uh, now we go ahead and do redo our voltage test and I'll show you what a normal one should look like. Right, try to get you in the best I can. Here we go. I'm run this plastic tube back away we're in originally too Right now our power wire, I mean our power wire. Right. Screw good ground. There we go. Now we got good ground. Now on our control wire. Now we're on a Y wire or control wire. If you have a good solenoid, then you have battery voltage to that as well. So in order, new one's good. Now we could, uh, I guess we could go ahead and do some bi-directional bi control too, so you guys can see that. All right, go to our scan tool. All right, we'll go to our scan tool. What's out of that? And we will go to a uh, functional test. And we can do uh, output controls. I'll find your vent solenoid. 
evap vent solenoid right here. We'll select that. And uh, we'll go ahead and open, close, open, close. Oh, let's take you back there so you, you probably hear it a little bit better. Right. Here we are at the back tire. And open, hear it click, and hear it click close. Alright, so there's verified repair, and there's how you uh, go through and change the evap solenoid on one of these Chevys. Pretty common problem. Wish I could get you some better footage, but you know, just that one 10 millimeter bolt right there, and then uh, that plastic line that goes into that rubber line right there, and it's easy fits. If you like what you saw, go ahead and like the video, uh, subscribe, leave any comments down in the description of uh, anything else you'd like to see or any questions you have. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.